I'll show you how to set up a new Coinbase wallet. So once you've downloaded the app on your phone, come down to the bottom and press create new wallet. Now this is going to instantly create a wallet for you. And if you've got biometrics on your device, it will scan those. So you can see when I press create new wallet, it's gonna scan my face ID. So I'm gonna press create new wallet. It says create. Do I want to allow this? I'm gonna press allow. It's scanning my face. Now what it's doing with scanning my face is just turning on face ID login for the app. So that isn't anything to do with creating the wallet. It's created the wallet for you and you log into the app via Face ID, but you can turn that off in settings after. So we actually have a brand new wallet here and that's it. Now, of course, the important thing about a wallet is how you back it up because if you lose your phone or delete the app, how do you actually regain access to your account? Well, that's how we uh, use the recovery phrase and so I'll go over that now. So what we want to do is go to settings up in the top right and as you can see, I have a wallet, but you should be able to see that the address here, so I'm gonna click address one like this, and it says recovery phrase here, not backed up. That's because it hasn't given us the backup yet, it just created the wallet. So what I'm gonna do is go into that, and it's going to scan my face again, and it says recovery phrase or private key request. Do you want to actually see this? This is the important thing about your wallet that you've just set up. If you want to recover this wallet on a different device, then you're going to need this phrase. So I'm gonna press allow, and you should see here, I can press this to uncover those words. So this is a list of 12 words, and this is how you recover your wallet. So write these down somewhere safe, don't lose them, and don't show them to anyone else, because whoever has these 12 words can recover this wallet that you just set up on any other device. So if you lose your device or delete the app, you can use these words to recover. But if someone else has these words, they can recover your wallet on their device as well. So this is the important thing to back up uh, your seed phrase or your recovery phrase as it's known. You can do it in iCloud, it creates a file and you can encrypt that as well. However, it's up to you whether you want to have that because your seed phrase is then online and if your iCloud gets hacked, as unlikely as that may be, it's a possibility. You can back it up manually down at the bottom as you can see and you can write them down somewhere. There's also these steel plates that you can buy. I'll leave some links below uh, if you wanna have a look at those where you can etch in the recovery phrase or stamp it in with the words that you get. And so that's a little bit better than a piece of paper, but still you have that physical backup there. So don't lose it and make sure no one else sees it. But that's how you back up your wallet and if you lose access to it, you can recover it through these 12 words. The wallet that we've just set up has a few different addresses for all of the different blockchains that it supports within the wallet. So to find your wallet addresses, go to the middle icon in the app, go to the bottom left, receive, and then these are your addresses. So your Ethereum address is the same across all the EVM style chains. So Ethereum and Base and a few others, they share the same address even though they're different networks. You also get a Bitcoin address here, which is completely different. You get a Solana address, which is completely different as well. And then you get a few other options down at the bottom where it says other assets. And in some regions, you may actually be able to receive money with US bank information. That may not be available in your region, but if you go through with this, you may be able to set this up. And so Coinbase Wallet will actually set you up with a USD bank account with an IBAN, and you can accept money into that account. Now what's gonna happen is if someone sends you money to that account with US banking details, then that will actually be auto-converted into USDC, which is the stablecoin that Coinbase uses. So even if they send you banking dollars, you'll get USDC on the blockchain for that. So that may be uh, important for you. In any case, those are all your addresses and you can receive funds to them. Just make sure that when you're sending funds, you're using the right blockchain and the assets going to the blockchain that you want and the address that you want. Within Coinbase Wallet, there's also a way to set up another different type of wallet as well, known as a passkey wallet. So the wallet that we're looking at right now, this is the wallet that we have set up with the seed phrase. If you want to recover this wallet elsewhere, you must have that seed phrase, and so you must keep it somewhere safe and write it down. There's also the passkey wallet, which uses passkeys to log into your wallet. If you go up to the top left, click your address, and then down here it says add and manage wallets. Click that one, then create new wallet, and it says, do you want to create a recovery phrase wallet or a passkey wallet? So recovery phrase is the wallet that we've just set up and we looked at. Now this is great because it gives you addresses across multiple chains like Bitcoin and Ethereum. But the downside of that is that that 12 word phrase has to be managed by you. And it's all on you to keep that safe and not lose it or not get it stolen. Because if you do, you've got an issue recovering the wallet somewhere else. You can of course log into the app and get your 12 word phrase again. But if you've lost your phone, then that 12 word phrase is the important thing. 
Now a passkey wallet is slightly different where it sets up the login to the app via a passkey. Passkeys are used in uh, Android and Apple devices and a few other password managers. And essentially it's a login that is held in the cloud. And so when you download the app again on a different device, you can just press pass key to log in, scans your face, and you log into the app. That's a really convenient way to log in, and it takes away the pass phrase or the recovery phrase issue. However, with pass key wallets, this only creates an Ethereum style wallet. So if you want to use the Ethereum blockchain or the base blockchain from Coinbase, that may be a good option for you. However, you can't use the Bitcoin blockchain or other blockchains with that as well. So there's some pros and cons to it. You may want to create a passkey wallet as well, but the use case is slightly diminished versus the seed phrase wallet. I'll show you what it looks like to recover a passkey wallet or a seed phrase wallet as well. So if you've downloaded the app again and you've come to the front screen where it says create new wallet, you can also choose I already have a wallet. In the Coinbase app, you can go to the settings and click recover wallet and it will take you through to this page as well. Then if you have the 12 word phrase, you can click that, write the 12 word phrase in, you recover your wallet. You can also press pass key here and where do you have your pass key? Do you have it on a different device or this device, whatever? So you can choose that and then it's going to say, do you want to log in with the pass key? So I'm gonna press okay and then it logs into the wallet. So I don't need the phrase, but I have the pass key uh, in my device or on my cloud and so you can see I've logged in and I have my balances here. So it's up to you which one you want to use. The seed phrase wallet has more functionality. The passkey wallet is a little bit easier to manage, um, but you just have Ethereum based applications and Ethereum based assets to work with. Now we need to get some crypto into our wallet. And the two ways to do this are either to receive it from someone else that's sending it to you or to go ahead and buy it on a centralized exchange. Now, a centralized exchange is the most robust way to buy crypto and you'll buy it on the centralized exchange and then withdraw it from the centralized exchange into your wallet address and you'll see the assets in your wallet address. Now, because this is Coinbase wallet, they do easily link with the Coinbase exchange as well. So go to the bottom right, click that icon, top left, press buy, and there's two options here. Either receive crypto and you just get your wallet addresses where you can receive crypto from any other exchange or from someone else, or you press transfer from Coinbase and it's gonna easily link up with your Coinbase exchange account if you have one. So press transfer from Coinbase here. You can see that it's logged into my Coinbase exchange app that I have, which is a separate app, and it says, can you link these wallets with your exchange account? And can we easily send assets out? You press authorize. You can easily withdraw assets from your centralized exchange account into your wallet. Now, I'll leave the video guides for that below. If you wanna know how to use Coinbase Exchange or the other exchanges that I use, uh, I'll leave them below. How to set up with them, how to get money in and out, how to buy crypto, how to withdraw it, all of that for those videos down below. And I'll leave some links to the exchanges I use because some of them give deposit and trading bonuses if you're a new user as well. So that's how you buy crypto and that's how you send it out to your wallet. If you have crypto somewhere else already or someone's sending it to you, then you just need your wallet address. So press receive crypto here and here's your wallet address. I'm gonna copy my Ethereum address because I'm gonna send out some ETH into my wallet. If you wanna send some Bitcoin to this address, that's your Bitcoin address here and it's a different address. So whatever you wanna send out, just copy the address of the network that you wanna send it to and then go over to your exchange account. In my exchange account here, I have some ETH, so I'm gonna send that out. I've clicked on the asset, I've already bought this, I'm gonna press withdraw. And then here it says, where do you want us to send this asset? So I'm gonna paste in my wallet address here like this that is my Coinbase wallet address. So the exchange knows that I've got some ETH and I'm gonna send that out to the wallet address of my Coinbase wallet. It's also gonna ask us which network you want to use. Now, because Coinbase wallet supports many different Ethereum style networks, you have to be sure which network that you're using and which network that you want that crypto on. Whether you want it on the Ethereum mainnet, whether you want it on the base network, which is also supported down at the bottom here, which is Coinbase's network, it's up to you. So you can choose that and you can get those assets into your wallet. If you're using one of the EVM networks in Coinbase wallet, for example, Ethereum or Base, you always need some ETH to pay for gas fees. Every time you send a coin or you swap a coin, you have to pay a transaction fee known as gas and that fee is paid in ETH. So you always need some ETH in your wallet to pay for that gas. Now, if you're dealing with some coins, for example, USDC, the wallet may actually pay for that for you and so you don't need any gas. However, that's up to the wallet. Sometimes they have offers and sometimes they don't. So if you don't have enough gas to pay for the transaction, you'll need to get some ETH in your wallet. You can figure that out as you go. For other networks like Bitcoin, it's just Bitcoin and you pay a transaction fee when you send your Bitcoin out of the wallet and you'll see that transaction fee paid in Bitcoin. 
I've also got some more in-depth guides on using all of the features of this wallet that I'll leave below, plus the exchange guides if you need them, and the trading and bonus offers to the exchanges I use linked in the description. I'm James, it's MoneyZG, cheers for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.